What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So millionaires, millionaires have, you know, seven sources of income at minimum, usually. And when it comes to those sources of income, a lot of times people are always seeing that they have forms of income that are basically making their money work for them. And this is something that I get all the time is, you know, how can I make my money work for me? How can I become rich? How can I make a ton of money without having to work a nine to five job? Well, um, for normal people, there's a lot of things that you need to do when it comes to making your money work for you, but I'll give you the methods and then we can really talk about how you can put that to work and how you can make that a reality. So we'll get into that in just a second. Before I start, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this this one and I do a giveaway every week so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear all about that now just like I said becoming a millionaire is not easy but the easiest way you could possibly do that is through retirement and basically making your money work for you now there are other ways that you can make your money work for you not just uh, focusing on retirement and waiting 40 years in order for you to become a millionaire some people become a millionaire a lot faster depending on what they do with their money in the early days when they're young so first let's get into the first method of making your money work for you, which is a high yield savings account. This is something that I have. I have the American Express high yield savings account. And the only thing I would say about these is that the percentages change quite often, but it's the safest method. I can tell you that you're going to put your money in there. You're going to be backed um, basically up to $250,000, some even more than that. And you're just going to be able to make 2%, um, at least 1.5% on your money every single year just by having it in there. So this is a huge piece by making your money work for you, but it's not something that's going to be, you know, 10% increase, 20% increase, 100% increase. It's going to be something to where it stays at around 2% and then you're going to have to go from there. But it's definitely a great starting point. So if you have any money, there are a lot out there that have no minimum. So go ahead and check those out. I'll put some links down in the description. The next method is actually storing it in a retirement account. So if you have a 401k, you have a Roth IRA, you're going to have that money in a retirement account and be able to get interest. And a lot of times it's going to be around, you know, 7%, 10%, 15%. You, you can get a very large amount of money back with the retirement accounts. And if you're adding to those um, accounts as you go on, like a 401k, if you have a job and you're, you're contributing to that 401k, you're going to be adding to that and it's going to be compound interest. You're going to be able to build a very large portfolio of whatever they are investing in. It's not anything that you have to actively manage. So it's something that's really good to look into. If you don't have a 401k, definitely think about getting one through um, Fidelity. They have their 401ks to where you can um, transfer 401ks that you don't have anymore. Maybe you have a bunch of money that's sitting in an old 401k and now you need to transfer it over instead of withdrawing all that. So that's definitely an option. But I would say definitely go into like Fidelity and open a, a Roth IRA and um, be able to contribute to that every single month or every year, however often you want to contribute to it. But you'll be able to gain interest and make your money work for you. And that's what it's all about. The next one is actually investing in the market. This is a huge piece as well because this is something that I do and depending on what you do, you can do a mutual fund, you can invest directly into the market through an index fund, you can do it through individual stocks and you can be able to gain a lot of money, whether it's in the form of a dividend or whether it's in the form of the growth of the stock. And this is going to be huge for your portfolio. And I would say you spread it out. You know, you don't just do, you know, mutual funds. You also do something a little bit more risky so you can gain a little bit more of a return. So, you know, investing your money into Amazon, even though I don't think Amazon is really risky at this point. I just think it's, you know, ridiculous that it's that high of a price. But, you know, invest money into the market. That's definitely a great way in order to make your money work for you. That's the first way that I really figured it out was just to make my money work for me through the markets. Never really knew about high interest savings accounts, high yield savings accounts until I really started to um, research that and I actually had um, a bank reach out to me about it and then I started to um, understand exactly what was going on there. But, you know, that's where a lot of people are gaining a lot of their wealth. Um, throughout time, they're holding stocks for 40 years, they're holding mutual funds for 40 years, they're holding index funds for 20 years. And, you know, they're able to look at that money and see an average of a 10% return or 15% return on their money every single year. And it's just going to be ridiculous how much money you can actually gain and how 
quick you can become a millionaire. So that's definitely a method. Check that out. Go and um, open a Fidelity account or open an Ally bank account. You know, open any investment brokerage account and um, start investing money. So the next area is something that I agree with as well, which is credit cards and getting rewards on those credit cards. So using those rewards effectively. Now, if you're getting a credit card and you're not going to use the rewards, it doesn't make sense. But I have something, I have the Amex Gold Card. Now I'm gonna get four times back at grocery stores and at restaurants. I spend a lot of money at grocery stores, everybody does. And I spend a lot of money at restaurants, which not everybody does, but I do. So if I'm building these rewards for shopping at grocery stores and at restaurants, technically I was going to spend that money anyway. So I'm making my money that I'm spending work for me. So that's a very simple way of looking at it, a very easy way of looking at it. And there's a lot of credit cards that don't have an annual fee that you can use effectively and be able to build a large portfolio of points. You know, you can build points from Chase, from Amex, you know, from Wells Fargo, from a lot of places. And you can travel for free. You can just you know, put that money away, you can um, pay off credit cards, and then you basically had an extra $100. But what I always recommend is if you can get the Fidelity card, you can actually get 2% back there. And then you can put that money back into your stock brokerage account to where you can invest money. So it, it's a huge thing that you could do, especially with the Fidelity card, I could tell you that, because it goes right into your uh, brokerage account. So definitely check that out. Um, if you're interested in credit cards, I have a lot of links down below for um, Amex cards that I use. Um, but I think most of them do have an annual fee, if not all of them. So if you don't like paying an annual fee, there are a ton of other cards, ton of other cards on my channel. So make sure you check those out. But credit cards are definitely a good way to make your money work for you. Now, the last way that I have on here that you can make your money work for you is investing in real estate. Now, this is not anything that I have done so far. I own my own house, but I haven't invested in any real estate properties. I would love to, but I just feel like I'm not as experienced and I don't have enough time in order to do so. But if you are not doing all of these other things that I'm doing, like creating YouTube videos, you know, like working a nine to five job as well, you can invest into real estate and be able to sell a brand new house, you know, um, fix up a brand new house or rent out a property and collect rental income. So this is a way that you can make your money work for you because you're paying the money up front for the, for the house and probably per month and you're gaining a lot in return or more than you're paying out in return, which is hopefully what, what's happening. So those are five ways. Those are five ways that I looked at and other, other ways that you can look at, you can become a partner in a business as well, but there are other ways that you can look and create more income based on using your money to create that income. Um, so you can look into all of that, but these are ways that are, are very common and you can really get started with just like a hundred dollars. Some you can get started without even having to spend anything, you know, credit cards, you probably don't have an annual fee, but you can get started with building up points. You know, if you get the Wells Fargo Propel card, it's a $0 annual fee and you're going to get a ton back. So make sure you check out credit cards if you want to, but I do want to caution you that, you know, don't just use them frivolously and think that you're going to get the same amount that you spend back, you're not, you're getting a fraction back. It has to be normal spending. So I always tell people that, but these are all ways that you can make your money work for you. That's what's important is creating those extra forms of income and be able to take that money that you have instead of saving it in a savings account, which is, which is horrible because a lot of people don't do it and you're getting like 0.001% interest. Um, instead of doing that, now you can put it in an area to where you gain percentages back. You gain 1%, 2%, 10%. You gain a lot back when it comes to your own money. And that's what it's all about. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is go over to my Instagram, DM me, let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and that you're subscribed to both of my YouTube channels. Um, and uh, you'll get one ticket in the hat. Now, I know it's been actually two weeks that I haven't done the physical giveaway. I haven't given away the gift cards. Now I have them tracked. I have um, the people that I need to reach out to. I haven't reached out to them. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to basically be giving away six gift cards in one setting. Um, so that's how it's going to be. 
but uh, hopefully I can keep up with it from there on out. Let me know if you would be more interested in seeing me give away 12 gift cards at once, basically like going through the whole entire month and gathering the gift cards for the four weeks and then giving out 12 gift cards in one instance. Let me know if you're interested in that. But um, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you're always up to date on all of my videos. Um, once I see some more stimulus check news, I'll make sure I um, post something about that. But that's my video, guys. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.